So he's got further than he did two years ago. Chun Han Yang, or Yang Chun Han, as he should be, for Chinese Taipei. Inside him, Yun Yamashita of Japan, eighth in the final two years ago. Now, Vera von Granatsiri of Thailand on the inside. And the man right on the inside is Zolani Telane of Botswana. Well, the Italian's hopeful here, but really, we're all looking at the Brazilian, the 20 year old 100 meters champion who is stepping up to the two. Most of his success so far in his career has come at 100 meters. Lovely shot of the men down on there. Marks ready to explode out of them. So. So away we go then, watch out for the Brazilian uh, wearing blue, not green, of Brazil and he's got out very well indeed, he's already got away from the Irish lad, Marcus Lawler, inside him. Brazilian's in control here, he's going to be a waltz to the line I think, he's still going, he's trying to close it down but they're coming back at him, he's got to be careful, he's got to be careful, he's just got it. Lawler and Yamashita chased him all the way in the end and I have to say I'm not entirely sure which of them got second. But you suddenly saw there in the last five minutes, or in the last five metres, that Camillo suddenly realised he needed to work. Maybe a little too confident after that success. Gets out of the blocks beautifully. And he takes the bend well. However, now he's pretty convinced he's got it. But the two men inside him, the Japanese and the Irishman, keep on working. They know that it's only the top two that go through to the final. And look at that depth. He nearly overbalanced in his eagerness to get to the line, suddenly realising that maybe he was a little too casual. So he's trying to close it down and suddenly realising that they're nearer than he thought. Nevertheless, Camillo Anthony is through in a winning time of 20.72, so it's pretty quick. Yeah, 20.72, though, is still half a second away from his personal best, so there is a lot more to come from the Brazilian. And you would assume that he will hit the second 200 meet, the second 100 metres of that 200 a lot harder in the final than he did in that semi. The rest of them are still looking up at the screen because we have not got any results, but we have now, and it's Yamashita. You just saw there Lawler looking disappointed. He's been given the same time as the Japanese, but he's been put behind him in third. Well, that was a cracking race for a semi-final. You see here, the Brazil is in total control, and if he just kept on going here, he would have comfortably won. But he's trying to close it down there, you see there, and then all of a sudden, starts up again. Realises he might miss out on a top two place, and then lunges towards the line. It was a good dip in the end, but that all came from the momentum dropping rather than the momentum taking him to the line. Oof, relief for the Brazilians anyway. Well, he's trying to pretend that it was never in doubt, but it was a little bit. Now, what does that mean? Where I come from, that means I'm pulling out, but uh, I'm assuming that doesn't mean the same thing. Maybe that means that it was close for him, and it was close. Two hundredths of a second. Simone Tanzili of Italy gets fourth in 21.07.
And confirmation then of those times. Camillo and Yamashita going through by right. Lawler and Tanzini.